horse for the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hi-Yo Silver, the Lone Ranger. his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the masked rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. The stories of his strength and courage, his daring and resourcefulness, have come down to us through the generations. And nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. We're heading for Mustang Mags. The Lone Ranger and Tonto rode up to a well-kept house where an old friend lived. Oh, Silver, steady, boy, steady. Oh. Oh. It's been some time since they'd called on Mustang Mag, but there could be no doubt about their welcome. Well, great day in the morning. You sure are sight for sore eyes. Hello, Mustang Mag. It's good to see you. Get yourself off of that there saddle. Steady, big fella. Hey, Jake, <laughs> Pete, come out here and take care of these horses. Give them the best doggone fodder we got and give them grooming and water. Uh, and me fix one. Oh, like fun you will, Tonto, you doggone old owl. I've got to feast my eyes on the two of you. Come on inside the house and sit down. i got grub ready to lay out. You're looking well, Mag. How's Missouri? Missouri? Oh, sakes alive. He's so busy running the sheriff's office, he don't get out to the ranch more than one or two times a month. Get yourself inside there now. Oh, why shouldn't I look well? I had the best season the old ranch ever knew. Getting top price for everything and plenty of it to sell. I put in wheat this year. Yes, I see you did. Yep. Had a whole section in wheat. And it's all harvested. Missouri helped with the harvesting. <laughs> After being in the sheriff's office where he could sit most of the time, a hard day's work most killed the old glute. Some of the farmers to the east were lucky with their wheat crops this season. Now, yeah, Missouri told me a few things about new company that started up to the east. Yes, they built warehouses to store the wheat and came through buying up the crops. They paid good prices. Uh, did they? Yes, why? Uh, did they pay good prices or promise to pay good prices? Why do you ask, Meg? Well, Missouri knows about one of the men in that outfit that put up the warehouses. A creature by the name of Lodeman. Lodeman? Missouri says anything that Lodeman's mixed up in is crooked. I hadn't heard that Lodeman was a crook. Doggone. Oh, what's the matter? Lodeman offered to buy my crops. He would have put it on the railroad and moved it to his warehouse. He was offering a right smart price, too. Lots more than what I got. And you didn't deal with him? No. That suspicious old fool Missouri said not to. You say you never heard of Lodeman being crooked? No, but I that isn't... thought so. You'd have heard of him if he'd been crooked. Sure you would. Not necessarily, Meg. Our Missouri's a fool. He's an old-fired, meddling, interfering old fool that done me out of hundreds of dollars now. Hey there, Meg! You! Huh? Now, Meg! If it weren't for the company, I'd bust a skillet on your solid skull. Oh, Leaping, jumping, sagebrush, look at who's here. Hello, Missouri. Doggone, sure is good to see you. And <laughs> Tonto. 
How, Miss Hurry? By Ginger, this here calls for a holiday. This calls for celebration. This calls for a special fee. You sit down. Oh, now, Mag, don't look at me like that. What's got under your hide today? Now, what have I done? Why, now, Just you... a minute, Mag. Perhaps Lodman is a crook. Missouri's a sheriff now. He's in a position to know. Oh, so that's it. Yes, that's it, you spavined old horn toad. I wanted to sell my wheat to Mr. Lodman's syndicate, and you said I shouldn't do it. That's what I said, doggone it all, Mag, and I still say the same. If you'd have sold to him and been done out of your cash, you'd have scalped me for not warning you. What about this, Lodman? He's a crook. Always was a crook and always will be a crook. He's been in jail for robbing stage line and just missed hanging for stealing horses. Doggone it. He ran a crooked gambling game in El Paso. He sold salted gold mines and jumped claims of good ones. He'd sooner starve being crooked than make a million dollars being honest. You better have some proof of all that. All right. All right, Mustang Mag. You want proof, eh? You just go to El Paso, see what the record says there about Scar Bushnell. Or go to Sagebrush and see what the United States Marshal that lives there has to say about Lefty Morehouse. What's that, Missouri? <laughs> oh, great guns. You scare a man when you talk like a bullwhip cracking. Is Scar Bushnell still alive? Uh, his name's Lodman now, like what I said. And Lefty Morehouse? I'm trying to tell you, it's the same hombre. Are you sure of that? Am I sure? <laughs> Am I sure of my name? Am I sure I'm sitting here? If Lodman is the same man. He is, I'm telling you. When a man tells Mustang Mag something is a true fact, he's just got to be sure of it. Otherwise, he's inviting sudden death. Oh, that there woman's got a temper like blasting powder on the 4th of July. And a right hand swing that it, well, it's like the kick of a Mustang. Doggone right, I'm sure. That's something we didn't know. Come on, fellow. Uh, hey, hold on. Sorry. Now, look, don't bolt on as soon as I get here. Get our horses, Tonto. We've got to travel fast. Uh-huh. You get them. Now, you haven't had anything to eat. Now, wait a minute. You scout here. Never mind the horses. We're leaving. Eh, hey, leaving. Here, Silver. Come on, boy. Come on, scout. We travel. Out of Tonto. Be ready. Get them up. Now, now, wait a second. Let me tell you. Come on, Silver. Now, Mag, don't you say it. You... Just about the time I get the Lone Ranger to sit down to have a nice, sociable conversation, you come in with a lot of fancy shooting off your mouth that chases them out of here like a bolt of grease lightning. Mag, you can't blame he me. You'd have kept your lip buttoned about them crooks. But he wanted to know. Oh. What I said was true. Lodeman's the same critter as those others. Hmm. I didn't know the Lone Ranger would do what he did. How could I know? Oh, you loco fool. Must have been important, judging from the way he lit out. Maybe he's got to prevent Lodeman from doing more damage. Oh, save your voice. He had to show off, that's all. He had to show how much you knew. Chances are you made up the story out of whole cloth. I never did no such thing. Huh. wonder why he left in such a hurry. Who? Who? Who do you think? The Lone Ranger, of course. Uh, maybe he wants to overtake the special train. What special train? Mr. Lodman's train. Went past here a while ago. Lodman's train? Uh-huh. Train loaded something Mr. Lodman is moving from west of here to the east. Maybe that's why the Lone Ranger lit out so fast and sudden. Racing against time and against the fast train, the Lone Ranger and Tonto guided their horses over a rock-strewn hill, up a steep incline, over the crest and down the other side. The level bed of a valley stretched out for several miles. Now, with the peril of sliding rocks removed, the great white stallion could really run. Come on, Silver! Off to the west, a faint plume of smoke could be seen as the iron horse rolled eastward. There was another hill ahead. When the masked rider reached the base of this, he reined up and waited for Tonto to overtake him. Oh, Silver, oh boy, steady, big fella. We're ahead of the train, Tonto. Oh, scout, oh, fella, oh, oh, fella. When the train slows at the top of the hill, we'll be able to get on board. Why you want to be trained here? You heard what Missouri said about Lodeman. Him crook. Right. Him crook with many names. That's his train. Him not own train. No, but he's chartered all the cars. The whole cargo is his. He's bringing a train note of something from the west. Might be cattle that's been stolen. I want to find out what he's carrying. Oh. After that, we'll head further east and learn about this deal in wheat. Lodeman is the same man as Morehouse. That wheat deal is crooked. A lot of farmers are going to take a heavy loss. How Lodeman do that? I don't know, Tonto, but we're going to find out. Now, Kimasabi, train come near now. We'll ride to the top of the hill and wait there. Come on, Silver! Come on, Scout! soon reached the bottom of the long grade and started up. Halfway toward the end of the rise, the train had slowed to half its original speed. As it approached the summit, it slowed so the horses could easily trot alongside. Tonto, 
I can hang on there while I open the door of that car. Maybe you let Hunter go on. No, I want to see for myself. You take the reins as soon as I leave the saddle. Keep Silver alongside. Uh, time to do it. Ready now. Boy, fellow. Um, think of Silver. It took but a moment for the masked man to open the door on the side of the freight car. He looked inside and was surprised at what he saw. In an instant, he was out and leaping to the back of his white horse. Watch it, Silver. <coughs> what you see? Otto, that car was empty. I'm going to look in another. The masked man looked into the second car, and this too was empty. He went to the third. As he stepped through the door, he saw two men. Well... What do you think you're doing, mister? Well, make no fast move, mister. We got you covered. What's the idea of poking your nose into all the cars on this train? What business is it of yours? Anything that Lodman or Morehouse, as he used to call himself, does is of interest to men who want law and order. Oh, so you know our boss. Yes, for the crimes he's committed. Now I'd like to know why he's moving empty cars from the west. That's none of your business. Hitch, maybe we better do something about this armory, eh? Huh? Yeah, there's only one thing to do with them, Hawks, and you know what that is. You got an idea. The train will be going downhill in a minute or so. Then when it gets up plenty of speed, we can throw him out. That's it? We could shoot him? No. If he's found with a bullet, it'd call for an explanation. The boss wouldn't want that. We'll make it look like a fall. He's an outlaw anyhow. Look at that mask. Oh, no. Don't get the idea this hombre is an outlaw, Hawks. No? I heard him calling his horse Silver. What about it? He's a lone ranger. Look he's out! A... Got your guard down. I'll show you. Oh. You won't show me anything, Hawks. The train had reached the top of the grade and started down the other side. With increasing speed, the line of cars rumbled eastward. The Lone Ranger hurried to the door and saw that the horses were keeping alongside. Hello! Hold back! Hold back, Silver! Don't try to keep up! I'll stay with the train and join you later! He turned from the door, but just too late. Getch held a gun in his upraised hand. He brought it down with stunning force. Oh! oh. Yeah, that got you. Now I'll roll you off this train and let you... Huh? You got conscious again, huh? Don't roll them off. Shut that door. Why not? Shut the door. There. Now, why not get rid of this hombre? You said he was the Lone Ranger. Yeah, what about it? You heard what he said about the boss? Maybe he knows lots more than he told. Maybe the boss would like to have a talk with you. Ah, maybe you're right. Don't do any harm to wait and see. Be at the siding by midnight. Lodman will join us there. Hey, good idea. We'll gag and rope this hombre and hold him for the boss. Here. You take charge of a shooting iron, so I'll get a rope on him. Right. Now, what about the engine? Uh, he's a long way back by this time. We'll see what Loadman has to say about things. The Lone Ranger recovered consciousness to find himself gagged and tied. He strained against the ropes that held his wrists, but found that Getch had done his work well. He remained quiet, listening to the conversation between the two who had captured him. It grew dark, and the hours dragged painfully. Then, at midnight, the train came to a stop. Getch opened the door, and the two men jumped out into the darkness. Another hour went by, and then a sound like the call of a night bird came from nearby. The masked man knew that Tonto had arrived. The Indian crept into the car without a sound and moved toward the end where he found his friend. Uh. Me get gag off plenty quick. Nah. Rope. Hands behind my back. Uh, me know. Me cut rope. Uh, right down this way, man. The next car. Right They're coming, Tonto. Where's Silver? Me leave him back a little way from car. All right, Redskin. We know you're there. Come on with your hands up after you cut the ropes off your friend. Tonto, they held back and waited to get both of us. Uh -huh. Me have rope cutting jiffy. There, that does it. Uh -huh. One of those two took my guns. Uh, me got one gun, that all. Goldman has a score of men around here. This is right near his warehouse. You stand now? Yes, I'm all right, King Wasabi. Oh, okay. Now we've got to find a way to get out of here. Did you hear me, Redskin? Untie your friend and come to the door, both of you, with your hands up. Make a break and we start shooting. And you needn't try the door on the other side of the car. We got men there, too. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger story. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments.
now to continue our story. The Lone Ranger and Tonto were in the boxcar with the Loadman men ready to open fire as they, soon as they came through the door. The Lone Ranger heard Gat shout, And you needn't try the door on the other side of the car. We got men there, too. Tonto, how far back are the horses? Horse here, if you call them. Come on, then. We'll stand at the door. But just out of the line of fire. Uh. I know something of Loadman's plans now. I heard Getch and Hawks talking when they thought I was unconscious. All right, hurry it up. The boss wants to speak with you two, and he don't like to be kept waiting. Maybe you're afraid to show yourselves. We're coming, Hawks. I'm as anxious to have a talk with Loadman as he is to talk to me. That's Silver. Good. He heard me. Come on, Silver! You come, Scout! Get up with that horse! Get to the side! Come on, boy! Come on, Silver! Through them, Silver! Ready, Tonto, hit the saddle! Be ready! That's it! Stop him! Shoot him! Come on, let's get away! Come on, Silver! This way, Tonto! Get him up, Scout! Oh, Get back to Mustang Mag. Huh. Can, he go, can he go now? Right away. He'll be there by daybreak. Tell her to get a load of wheat and bring it here. And then what to? Sell it to Loadman. Sell it at his price and hurry. She's got to have it here by sundown tomorrow. Mustang Mag, sell all her wheat. Then she's got to buy some from a neighbor. She's got to be here with a wagon load. Hurry, Tato. We'll play Loadman's own game. I want Mag to be here so she can learn the rules. Uh, hurry. Adios. Adios, Kimo Tonto reached Mustang Mag's ranch at sundown and conveyed the masked man's message. Then he hurried to town, reaching there in time to tell Missouri that Mag was on her way. Oh, my sakes alive. She's coming all the way to town to see me. It's only for one thing. Because she's all fired mad at me, she can't wait till I get to visit her. Mag got business for you. Business? What kind of business, Tonto? I'm the sheriff. Mag never calls in the law to help her. Uh, she handles things her own way. <laughs> She's a mighty strong-willed woman. You, Missouri! Oh, uh, Stop uh, your uh, gaping and gawking and get your boots no, off. Now, Mag, whatever it is, I never did it. Told me to sell my wheat, eh? Well, for that, you can help me buy some wheat. I'll show you what an apple-headed two-bit tumbleweed you are. Oh, but, Mag, Tonto was just starting to tell me. Now, if you let him put it his way without the two-gun talk so like you... So now you're complaining about the way I talk, eh? Oh, now, Mag, I only... Come on! Oh, let, let go of my ears! Come ear. along, Missouri! Oh, wait! My boots! Let, let me get my boots you on! You can put them on while we ride. I got a book board here. Fetch his boots, Tonto. Uh-huh, me get them. Shut the door behind you. Oh, oh I feel these stones... Get your board there! Uh, Mag! Mag, the office. I've got to get to the office. The sheriff's office won't open till you get there. And the sooner I'm done with you, the sooner you'll be on the job. Here, get boots, Missouri. Oh, thank you, Tonto. Oh, never in all my born days, he said now you take them my... range and stop driving. Yeah, but where to? I don't care where to, as long as there's uh, some wheat to buy when we get there. Wheat? That's what I said, you lop eared baboon. The Lone Ranger says for me to buy a load of wheat. Now, being that you told me to sell mine, you can find where I can buy some. Uh, but, but what for? What are you going to do with wheat? Tell it to Loadman. Man! Shut up and get. Oh! Oh, now! Well, there's the wheat, Mag. All loaded and set for you. All right. It took you long enough to get it. Now, can I go back to my office? You're driving. No, man. We're taking this to Loadman's warehouse. We're going to sell it to him. Well, it took a lot of driving to get here, Mr. Loadman. But I had to show this fool galoot a few things. You want to sell the wheat? And that's what. And I'm no fool galoot, dread it all, Mag. The way you talk, nobody ever has any respect uh, for there's me. There's the wheat, Lordman. What's your price? Well, here's the form of sale. Price is on it. I don't know as I'm interested in any more wheat, though. You don't have very much there. Well, it's the principle of the thing. I'd have sold you all my crops if it hadn't have been for, for this. Oh, I see. He told me you'd never pay what you was offering. Well, there's the price. You can take it or leave it. Oh, sure. I'll take it. All right, sign here. Uh, Mag, you should look before you sign. Maybe you better let me read through that thing. There's a lot of writing on oh, it. Oh, quiet. Sign both copies and keep one of them. I'll keep the other. Yeah, I'll sign. Yeah, 
They are. Mustang Mag. Is that your name? That's what I'm known as, and I've done plenty of buying and selling with that name. All right. Her right name is Hurry. All right. All right. I ain't said nothing. Well, there's your copy. Drive into the warehouse and dump the wheat. My men will take care of it. You heard him, Missouri. Drive. Uh, come on there. Standing apart, the Lone Ranger watched as the wagon went into the warehouse. Tonto joined him and... Now, if we're wrong, Tonto, I get nothing out. But if we're right... We may save a lot of money for a lot of people. That right. We'll need lawmen. Uh. I'll head for the next town. There's a marshal there. He and the sheriff of this county can help Missouri. Missouri sheriff, too? But from another county, we cross the line. Uh. Here come Mag out again. Yes, I'll ride up and speak to her before I head east. Come on, boy. Mag! Missouri! Oh! Oh, oh boy, Teddy Silver. Oh. I hope we're done with wheat, Grand Hall. Missouri, you better stay around for a while. Stay here? I think the sheriff will be coming here tonight. He may want your help. No. Is that so? Well, that being the case, of course I'll stay. Hear that, Mag? It's official business. <laughs> you might do well to stay around too, Mag, if you hope to collect on the wheat you sold, Lodeman. Well, why shouldn't I collect? You read the agreement, didn't you? Oh, sure. Lodeman doesn't pay for the wheat until he ships it. Oh, he said it'd be shipped out sometime in the week. Now you stay here and I'll be back. Come on, Silver. Uh, you heard him, Mag. We gotta stick around now. He'll be back looking for us. Yeah, all right then. If we gotta stay, we gotta eat. Now, that's lively talk. <laughs> yes, sir. And if we gotta eat, we gotta get to the hotel. Drive on, Missouri. You bet. Get up there. passed without incident. No one came near the warehouse or the line of cars that were drawn up on the tracks nearby, excepting Tonto, who walked slowly by until someone said, Hey, you, Redskin. Huh? What's the matter? What you doing around here? Oh, me only walk. Then keep walking. Keep off private property. You guard here? I am. I'm here to guard the warehouse. Keep going. <laughs> Tonto had proved that no one could come near enough to see what went on in the vicinity of the warehouse. Yet, there was certainly activity. Lodeman had a score of men working around the place, but their work was a secret, known only to themselves and Lodeman. He appeared at the hotel where several people sat about. Well, my special shipment from the west is going on through now. Train is due to start most any minute. Uh, just what's the nature of that shipment, Lodeman? Well, I don't tell everyone, old-timer, but it's... Uh... Cargo goods that I imported all the way from California. No. Mm hmm. I own a few places in New York. Have to import a lot of things from uh, China and places like that. Uh, hear that, Mag? Or oh, you. You're friendly enough with them now. Well, there goes my train. Uh, when will the shoot you come here for the week? Oh, next week at the latest. Uh, seems like you pay mighty fancy prices, Lordman. Well, I can afford to. It's the way I do business. Missouri, every time I think about it, I could clout you. Uh, Mr. Lodeman, did you ever hear of a critter by the name of Morehouse? Yes, I did. He's changed his name to mine. Huh? He's using the name of Lodeman. I don't know why that crook had to pick my name. It's made no end of trouble for oh, me. Oh, my stars. Missouri, I'll talk to you when we get home. Uh-huh. I know you will, Mag. Fire! Hey, what's that? He said fire. Fire, come on. Where is it? It's a warehouse. It's on fire. Oh, the warehouse. Oh, wait. My building. Look at it. The place all over. Put it out. Get water. Get buckets lined up. Buckets under control. Can't fight that fire. Huck Spencer. Oh, wait. Oh, guy, look at the flames. Won't get paid. What do you mean I won't? Where's Lord? There he is. I've got to see him. Look out! The roof is caving. Hey, oh. What about the pay for the wheat? Yeah, Lordman, what about it? You had all my crop in there. Pay for the wheat? What about my warehouse? That's all gone, too. What about pay? We all lose. I lose my warehouse, you lose your wheat. Mean to say you won't pay us now? You read the agreement. I said I'd pay when the wheat was shipped. You'll pay now. We want our cash. We're our fault. The place took fire. That's pay us. We want our money. You'll pay or else. So you're all going to start a riot, huh? Well, I have men 
them to take care of that. Catch, boys, come on. That's a shot of warning. Now you bust up and go home. Clear out, you fools. You sign an agreement, read it. It's a skin game. He's got a regular army of men on his side. Shoot the first one who reaches for a gun. I know the law, I know my rights. You got some of my mags, sweet there. By ginger, you'll pay for it. Get her. back there, you. I won't do it. You shoot me and you shoot a sheriff of the law. All right, then, if you want to be an example. Stop that gun. What? Oh, I said drop it. That's better. You. We've met before, Catch. Holman, don't try to run. You haven't a chance. What's this mean? I'm the man who was held in your train of empty freight cars. I don't know what hey, you're talking... Did you say empty? Yes. He says they were filled. They were filled with nothing. When they left here, they were filled with wheat. You hear that, folks? Wheat? The wheat that was in that warehouse. The wheat loadman wants you to think has been destroyed by fire. And it ain't burned up? No. He lies. He's an enemy of mine. He's trying to make trouble, that's all. Loadman, that man's a lone ranger. What he says is good enough for me. I didn't come here alone. Have your gang look behind them, Ludman. What? The United States Marshal. Oh, that's right, Catch. Looks like we got you, doesn't it? You too, Ludman, or Morehouse, or whatever else you call yourself. The train was stopped a little east of here, Ludman. You can see the last car on the tracks right now. No, no. You signed agreements to pay for the wheat as soon as it's shipped. Well, you'll meet those terms. We'll see to it that you do. And then you'll go back to jail where you belong. Then we'll all get our money? You will. <laughs> You hear that, Missouri? You hear that? We are going to get top pay for the wheat. You old galoot, if it hadn't have been for you, I'd have sold all of it at top price. That's enough. Hang it all, that's more than I can stand. I've proved this man's a crook, proved a note about him. And if it hadn't been for the Lone Ranger, you'd have been swindled. And so would everyone else. Now you've got to stop riding roughshod on me and digging spurs into my hide. Missouri. Dead nabbit, I mean it. Missouri. Talk that way some more. I like it. just heard is a copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated.